Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to try to get the engine started, but there's a couple things we need to do first. One, we need to hook up the ignition, and two, we need to see why the car isn't shifting correctly. Hope you enjoy the video. As we've seen in the previous episodes, the wiring harness was sprayed yellow when they painted the car. We'll have to address this in the future. I downloaded the wiring diagram, identified the ignition wiring, and then cleaned them with mineral spirits and Scotch-Brite. Following the diagram, I hooked up the three wires and mounted the switch under the dash. The problem we were having is getting it to shift into gear, so we took the old shifter out, and as you can see, it's significantly bigger than the factory one, the stock one that came with it. I don't necessarily know if that's a problem. Um, I don't think it is. It should still work fine, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this plate in, which is, uh, I believe, what originally came with the vehicle. This is a, a reverse shift lockout detent. And what you're going to do is, essentially, you're going to center it here, and then you can drop the shifter in. What you want to do is you want to make sure that spring is centered a little bit. And so this plate is centered on here. So we're going to put the bolts in. So we've done some adjustments. It looks like we were pretty close the first time. I can get first, second gear, confined neutral, third and fourth. It's probably not ideal, but it'll certainly do for now. Um, I need to put the cap on it, and then I think we're good to go to start working on the engine. Well, this is kind of exciting. We just put the battery in the back, and it didn't have any sparks when we hooked it up, so that's good. So we're going to turn the key, and we see here we've got a good light. Uh, the car is up on ramps, but it shouldn't matter, but I'm going to make sure it's in neutral. Wheels are off, shouldn't matter, but I'm just going to tap the starter to see if we get anything here. Hey, that's a good noise. All right, so that's as far as I'm going to go right now. Um, let's take a look at the engine. So to do a proper oil change, you really should uh, replace the gasket and change the filter, but um, I don't have that today, so I'm going to push that off and I'll do another video on a proper oil change and we'll adjust the valves and everything. But today I'm just looking at getting the engine turned over with fresh oil. The old oil did not look bad at all. Not too black and definitely not chunky. Off camera, we cleaned the spark plugs and added some penetrating fluid to the cylinders. This was important because the car had sat for so long, there was most likely no oil in the cylinder. We also replaced the fuel lines, which is very important. I topped off the engine oil with two and a half quarts of oil. We needed to make sure the coil and distributor was producing voltage for the spark plugs. Normally I would do this with a spark tester, but it was not in the shop. So we decided to use an old fashioned method. If you ground the spark plug, connect the wire, and then turn the engine over, you can see the spark from the spark plug. With that working, we reinstalled the spark plug and moved on to start the engine. All right, we're just gonna review what we did here. We changed the oil, we checked the spark and the spark plugs, made sure that was good. Put a little carb cleaner in, I've got an external fuel source hooked up so we can bypass the tank. I guess we're getting close, right? Okay, go ahead. 
Grab it or go? Uh, just go and tap it. <laughs> go ahead. I guess just go. Uh, no, no, no. It's, once, it'll start once you get it. Go ahead. Smells funny. Let's see if it'll start without the uh, starting food. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just not getting any fuel. Huh, well that's not bad though. Just a, a little bit. This was really surprising. The engine runs really well once we decided to clean the carb out. We know that it's been sitting between 8 and 10 years. Getting this done is like closing a chapter on a bunch of to-do items. We can now move on to the next chapter of the restoration. Well, that was pretty amazing. We got the engine started. We got the car to bump forward under its own power, put it in gear, and it worked well. That's all we got. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.